Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi and welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director, and I'm here with Pastor Dan, who just brought a message from our Here to Eternity series called Urgency of Mission. And I loved how you laid out for us um, the example of evangelism that mm -hmm. we find at the well, and also drawing us to where Jesus is showing that the mission is urgent. Mm -hmm. like, there's no need to wait. Right. We're being called now. And we, we have a question that came in around evangelizing. Okay. Um, the question was, was evangelizing and mission work for salvation a new concept to the Jews that Jesus was introducing? Well, in that terminology, yes, it was. Uh, you know, Jesus had not yet died on the cross and been resurrected. Paul had certainly not developed his theology, which is a centerpiece of that perspective. But God's uh, concern for humanity by no means was a new concept. I, I think about Jonah being mm -hmm. sent to Nineveh, mm -hmm. rescue. The, the reason uh, the children of Israel were brought about in the first place was to be a light to the Gentiles, you know. So you're talking about modern day evangelism and missions. Yeah, that, that was brand new, probably never even heard of. Mm -hmm but the heart of God for lost people was not. Okay, and we see that really clearly, the way Jesus looks at compassion yeah. with people. And so when you think about mission and how that plays out, church planting, mm -hmm. being sent, um, being here locally, um, for FaithBridge, that's our church in the Woodlands, sure. um, is missional for us. And we had a question that came in around the Woodlands Church. Um, it says, now that the church is expanding into the Woodlands area, so FaithBridge expanding into the Woodlands area, what, what are we doing there to expand our mission field? Okay, well, I have uh, several answers to that question. Uh, first, I would say to get specific uh, instances where you can be involved, go to the Facebook page of our Woodlands campus mm -hmm. and uh, Pastor Wayne, the campus pastor up there, has outlined all the things that the Woodlands Church is doing. So you can find answers there. Secondly, I would say uh, Fall Fest. What was highlighted uh, in the, the video before I preached, perfect way to make ourselves known, to reach out to that community. I think the primary way, though, is the same way we've done here for years, real people, real life. Mm -hmm. It's one individual sharing with another, we've got a good thing going on, you know, Jesus is there and I think this could benefit you and your family. Um, I'm sure Wayne could probably add many others, but those are the ones that come to mind That's right good. off the bat. Yeah. That's good. Okay, and so another way we see um, evangelism and mission play out um, is in our schools mm -hmm. with our students. And so the question was, are we teaching our children that schools are mission fields hmm. here at FaithBridge? Well, uh, I can say that the student ministry here certainly is. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine that the kids' ministry is as well. They, they are a very missions-minded well, bunch of people. Well, having a kid in the uh, kids' ministry, okay. I do know that they talk okay. about inviting friends to church and Great. how you talk to your kid, yeah. talk to your friends. So I would say the first answer is, yes, we as a church are. I think the more important question, though, is are you as a parent? Um, my philosophy has always been that church is supplemental to the discipleship that happens at home. And if mom and dad are teaching that and practicing that, more than likely the child will too. If on the other hand, they're looking to the church to provide whatever the kid is going to get, I don't think it's going to have much sticking power. So I, both and. Okay. Not either or. All right. Well, I thank you for the message today. Yeah. It was challenging, and but also had a lot of practical steps. Good. If you are being called, there's plenty of places there sure for are. you to serve. So thank yeah. you for that. And thank you for joining us here for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. 
Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.